Today I'm going to god roll the vacuum tube launcher. I have a little bit of extra core reperk sitting around too, and uh, this is a weapon that I've been wanting to upgrade for a while now. So, finally going to do it. Uh, figured I'd show you guys for I don't know, anybody that might want to see it. So, it's actually not bad. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use the core reperk on this sixth perk down here, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Let me just get it leveled up a little bit. Now, in case you're not familiar with, uh, you know, leveling up schematics, or if you're new to game, uh, launchers can only be upgraded to uh, Obsidian. Uh, there is no Shadow Shard and Sunbeam path for any launchers. Uh, they will always go Obsidian and then Bright Core after upgrading to Malachite, which you hit at level 30. So, all right, here we go. So it's upgraded to 130. Uh, you can see damage per second increase quite a bit. Uh, and like I said, these are always going to be Bright Core. You will never see a Sunbeam launcher. So let's take a look at the perks here. Uh, it's locked to nature, so not much we can do there. Let's go ahead and make this gold, though. Uh, I'm just going to god roll all the perks first, and then whatever I want to change, I will go ahead and change. So let's get these leveled up. Alright, so the sixth perk down here... Um, you click on it, you need core reperk. Uh, I have five, fortunately, so I will be able to change this one. Uh, this is the considered to be the rare sixth perk on the vacuum tube launcher. Uh, this seems to be the one that everybody wants, so um, yeah, <laughs> including I'm one of those people myself. So eliminating an enemy with this weapon causes chain lightning to strike up to six enemies. Uh, pretty overpowered, if you ask me. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, probably do this one damage to miss monsters. And then I might just keep these all damage, honestly. Uh, I don't usually do durability, I'm not too worried about that, I'd rather have a, a reload speed. So, I think this is how I'm going to keep it for now. But let's, uh, let's load into a game and try it out. Um, we'll go into Plankerton. Now, I'm just running Stoneheart, Farah, uh, a ninja. <clears throat> there are heroes you can slot that, you know, have special bonuses specifically for using launchers, but being my power level and, you know, being down here in Plankerton, <clears throat> I should be able to one-shot anything with this vacuum tube anyway. I just want to see how it works with that uh, nice sixth perk that we just applied to it. Alright, so let's go into the schematics here. And go ahead and craft one. Now, most of my god rolls I'll favorite, but I'm just either all in alphabetical order. Don't believe I favorited this one. So here it is. 130 vacuum tube launcher. We have 20 minutes to neutralize the target. Search the zone and keep an eye out for any encampments that look angrier than usual. Alright, here we go. <laughs> See what this thing can do. Wow, okay, I like this thing already. Might be one of my new favorite launchers in the game. I like that reload speed too. Makes it quick. Alright, so let's see how the chain lightning works. Got a group of about six enemies here. Like that, I was able to take them all out with a single shot. Now, I realize using a 130 down here in Plankerton is a little bit of overkill, but I just want to do this for uh, demonstrated purposes and my own curiosity. I think it's oddly satisfying to shoot. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it might be one of my new favorite launchers. One of my other favorite launchers would uh, definitely be the Noble. Let me go ahead and make one of those quick, just in case you're not familiar with it. The thing I like about the Noble is that you're able to charge it up and you know basically shoot one 
wide beam. Let's go find some husks to use this on. Oh, a taker. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this charged up. Uh, the other nice thing is that it pierces, so you can shoot through walls, through buildings. Um, you'll see it's just this, once it's charged, it's a super wide beam, so it's great for groups of enemies, uh, especially if you have like a narrow choke point that you're trying to filter them through. Now you're able to just charge this thing up and you can take out a whole wave in one. So you don't have to charge it, you can also shoot it, you know, single shots like this, but um, I know, charging it is uh, a lot of fun and much more effective. So. What I usually do, but yeah, I just want to show you guys that uh, vacuum tube launcher. Then, uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'll be back with more videos soon. Uh, I'm constantly upgrading weapons and you know changing perks on them. So I'll try and detail some of that stuff as much as I can. But hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.